Hi, and welcome back to the studio as we continue with the basics of digital audio production. Today, lesson number five. Let's dig right in. All right, here's the situation this time. You've got a voice track that is almost 15 seconds long, and you're creating a commercial, a 15-second commercial, with a 30-second music bed. What do you do to make that work? Well, obviously, you're going to have to fade the music bed at the end of the 15-second spot. Now, to do that, there are a couple of ways. Actually, there are three that I can think of. You could actually chop up the music bed and fade it out using a couple of different methods, but I wouldn't want to do that. I would rather do it in the multi-track session. So I'll hit F12, and I'll drag the voice track in, then the music bed, and let's find out where that 15-second mark is going to be. Right there. See? 15 seconds right there. And so we want the music to fade with the voiceover. So we'll drag that voiceover right there. I like the music establishing first anyhow, so that'll work fine. Now, how do we fade that out? Well, first we've got to get rid of the last 15 seconds of the music bed. And that is right about there. Place the cursor exactly where you want to split the waveform. Then hit Control-K. Highlight this section. Delete. It's gone. Now we can do the fade. Now, in the older versions of Adobe Audition, the way to fade was using these white squares. Let's bring that over right here. Okay, let's zoom in on it. There it is. Now, you create a new one, zooming out over here, let's say, or you can move it around. I created that simply by clicking on that top line on the waveform. So I'll make another one. Boom. Now let's get rid of that. Okay. Now, move that where you think it's going to be a good place to start that fade. All right. Next, take this one that was in existence when we, um, when we started this session and pull it down. Now that's a pretty straight fade. It's not going to be a smooth fade. So we click on that line to create some more little white squares and create a smoother fade. All right. Now that's one way of doing it. The newer way that came about with Adobe Audition 3.0 is a special fade button, which is this little square box. Fade. Okay, let's zoom in on that too. Click on it, hold it down, and pull it over. See the line, the nice curvy line there? Now I can make that curve any way I like it. I can make it a nice long fade like that. I can make it a straight fade, even take it up. I'm thinking that, first of all, let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I want to make sure we start this fade in the right place. I'm thinking that's going to be a good way to fade it. All right, let's zoom out. And let's mix it down. And now, let's play it back. He may be the greatest air guitar player in the world. Chucky Margolis, in concert, one night only. Chucky Margolis, air guitar extraordinaire. There you go. And of course, if you didn't like that fade, get rid of that mix and do it again until you get it right. Now, remember, I'm using Adobe Audition for my audio production, so not all of these tips will work for everyone. But you might just find something in these lessons that you can apply to the software that you use. I'll see you next time for lesson number six.